Damn it. Well, it happened. 64 Heat has been beaten, unmodded, unseated by one of the two proven players that were actually capable of doing it, and that's got to be Angelic. This video is going to have my live reaction to the 64 Heat run, so stick around for that. But I just want to answer a couple of really common questions right now. Number one, all the facts and the numbers that I provided in my 64 Heat video are still accurate, and it's actually more of a testament just to how difficult the run was, and it gives more credit to Angelic. The thing that I was wrong about was that someone like Angelic would actually even try to beat an unmodded 64 Heat run. They are one of only two people that have proven that they are capable of beating this run. And it just so happened they got it within just like an hour of attempts, apparently. And of course, the other big question is going to be, is this run legit? Is it valid? Blah, blah, blah. All of the evidence that we have currently point to yes. There is really no reason to challenge the validity of the run unless you yourself are very knowledgeable about Hades and recording software. And unless you have that knowledge and you see some apparent evidence, there's really no reason to challenge what's going on here. Like I said, Angelic has already proven that they are capable of beating this run. They just needed the RNG to line up. I assure you that there are already dozens of members in the community that are experts at this that are looking at the video with great scrutiny. So for now, unless you are one of those people, there is no reason to say anything other than congratulations to Angelic. Anyway, enjoy the reaction. Make sure you click on Angelic's video in the description below and show some love to them, okay? World first. Of course, it had to be like exactly one week after I made a video saying no one would ever do it. <laughs> I was wrong in the sense that but my video was, it was correct in the math. But it was wrong in the sense that I didn't think anyone would actually attempt it and complete it, uh, especially anytime soon. But of course, what happens when you make videos like these, right? Not to kind of copium myself out of this, you know, but when you make videos like this, it get, does get more attention to the community and the scene and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Pretend I did it on purpose. Yeah, I, I just, you know, I instilled the uh, determination for Angelic, you know what I mean? And the great thing about this is it was done by someone who was a well-respected member of the high community who we know was already capable of doing it because they had beaten a modded run prior to this. So they had already proven that they were capable of doing the run. Does that make sense? It would be a bit... We would all have to have a more discerning eye if this was someone who just kind of came out of the woodwork. Um, of course, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll all do our due diligence and everything like that, I'm sure. But yeah, let's check it out, huh? So they do show the death, thank God. The worst thing you can think of is accidentally not showing a death, right? So it is, it is with essentially the build that was covered in the 64 Heat video. You know so they get explosive return in chamber one yeah they said that they they they, they just did a handful of uh, attempts like an hour worth of attempts and it just came together this enemy pattern is really good you love to see it no zeus yet huh that's kind of bad luck to not get zeus right away there oh man that's interesting how delayed that was I, oh, the, I think that was uh, Angelic's Discord, by the way. So they got the health into a key. Wow, super late Zeus here. This is like borderline. You might consider resetting this just because of that. Because you're probably going to be behind in time. Because you're not getting that Zeus boon right away, of course. But when you start with something like Explosive Return, you probably check it out either way. I'd imagine. If 100 people watch my video and try 10 times each, that's 100,000... What? It's not a hundred thousand attempts. It's a thousands of attempts. Step one. That's a thousand attempts. Step one. <laughs> Step two. None of those 100 people are capable of beating this run already. None of those 1,000 people are capable of... I mean, uh, 100 people are doing it. Unless you include Angelic in that list of people. Boom. There's the, there's the epic special. So, of course, they got the epic spesh. I guess that's not really a, an of course. I think there's probably a realm where it's plausible. Yeah, they play with keyboard and mouse. Uh, a lot of the, the the crazy high heat wins we see are keyboard and mouse. It allows you to aim that special a little bit better. There's Boldy before the the, uh, the mid shop or the mini boss. 
Yo, no Boldy Blessing? Oh, you get it after? It's Blasphemy. You obviously do Boldy first. Right in the zoo. Still no mid shop. Is this scary? Are we not going to get a mid shop now then? A little bit of a pause buffer just to see where Sneak's going to go to or align those attacks. You have to get every second. So they roll here. Epic jolted. Wow. That is like one of the craziest setups. This is that this is perfect. You could not ask for a better start in Tartarus, just to be clear. Explosive Return, Epic Special, Epic Jolted. Those are the three things that you want. No, there are no other contenders. Now, I kind of said this earlier, but keep in mind that there's an element of maybe these things, you have to treat the game as if, yeah, that's just going to happen. And if it doesn't happen, then the run's lost anyway. So Angelic is probably thinking, yeah, of course I'm going to roll here. I'm not going to settle for something mediocre slash useless from this mini boss. I, you wouldn't do that either way there, I think. Uh, because in order to beat 64 Heat, you just need the crazy things to happen. We did still get the mid shop. We didn't get scammed. That's always scary. Love that Fury soundtrack. It hit the special. They already have a palm on Jolted as well. That's good. Looking pretty, pretty special. Isn't Zeus Shield objectively the strongest weapon because it beats 64 heat? I mean, no. <laughs> it's actually more so because Zeus Shield has the least setup. It's not really that Zeus Shield has the highest peak. It requires the least setup. We got all we got the three things that were required to win the run in the first half of Tartarus. It requires the least setup, and you have a shield to block. Wow, another Zeus. They take high voltage. Strongest can mean many different things in a game. Exactly. I mean, what about in terms of, like, a speed run? What about in terms of beating the first run? There's too many different factors. Yeah, I would say, like, if, if you made me pick 53 seconds... So we go straight for the tooth to get back some health in case in case they get hit. They buy the special damage. I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised to be honest. I think I think uh it's it's pretty Beowulf is just the most it's the strongest weapon in in uh the most categories in a lot of ways. Blurry cast classic. Classic flurry cast. That's kind of an interesting thing when you have full routine inspection on here too, right? Even if you had Stygian Soul on the mirror, it's still gonna offer you flurry cast and you have one cast. Literally the worst possible boon there. It could not get worse, I'm pretty sure. Is there anything that could even pretend? No, yeah. Special buff because the timer is low. Yeah, I mean, the special buff helps with, uh, like, the explosive return damage, like that big AoE chunk. I guess I'm kind of surprised. I'd love to know. Uh, it's just that, like, the money is so tight in this run that I guess I would have personally guessed that you got to save it to, like, buy a boon in the mid shop or something. Because usually you're only going to wind up with, like, five-ish boons by the end of the run. Yeah, so look at their health. You might you might get used to like, oh, yeah, they took a hit here. They took a hit there. And it's like no big deal. But in reality, that health's not coming back except for when they blow the tooth. Okay, that is fascinating to me. Dionysus over Zeus. Dionysus over Zeus. Hmm. That's an interesting choice. So they probably did the math. And uh, they, they can already sell Flurry Cast. So they probably did the math in their heads and determined that Dio has a little bit more to offer than Zeus here already. So Zeus, we already sold high voltage. The best you could get is you could get double strike, you could get the call. And those are probably the major things that would help a lot. Um, I would say Dionysus, you could get premium vintage. You could get the call. The call is better. Is the call better than Zeus? No, I don't think so. Privilege status, no mirror, no privilege status, doesn't exist. <sighs> uh, no, we couldn't get the legendary because we sold high voltage. 
You don't want Zeus legendary. Oh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, so maybe the thought process, we'd have to ask Angelic what, the, what exactly they're considering here. It could just be that something like, look at this nice setup, huh? Wow, the tooth got blown there. I don't think it was on purpose. That's scary, huh? It could be that the damage is in, right? The damage necessary is kind of there. So maybe they're thinking, give me premium vintage. You know what I'm saying? They're going to roll Drunken Dash away. They got a 5% strong drink, I think. Oh, God. Angelic. <laughs> uh... After party does not work, it does nothing. After party does nothing. I'm sure when you when you just luck into uh, that great RNG in Tartarus, you you immediately like your your beats per minute just skyrocket immediately. Even though you know you still have the entire rest of the run to do. You know what I'm saying? It's tough. It's tough. Drink gets damage. Yes, it does not restore health though. Still. And Eurydice. 328 on the timer. It's pretty good. That hits Jolted and Flurry Cast. Again, this is an instance where, well, where you might be wondering, why not just take the palms for the guaranteed double buff, right? But again, you're kind of probably saying to yourself, you're at 64 heat. You just need the best luck. So that's why you go for that. It didn't happen. Um, and they still managed to pull through. You know what I mean? They're probably thinking they got to sell that. Ooh, Demeter's aid is probably quite useful here. High roll or no roll. Yeah. Exact. Exactly. Any sort of call boon is really useful. Anyone, any call boon is kind of useful. Well, actually, someone like Ares is... Not very good. Aphrodite is mostly not good too, I'd say. Like, possibly at a detriment. Ares, you just lose, like, DPS, kinda. Because it does so little, and you're locked into the animation. Aphrodite just doesn't deal damage, so yeah. But they all give you some iframes and make you briefly invincible, so it can help. It's almost like you can treat the call as an extra dash a tiny bit. Essentially. Okay. 224 on the clock quite good quite good but judging from their modded run uh their 64 eat modded run this is still like kind of just uh in the middle probably like this is only barely doable i think by a lot of standards here because in their 64 in the in their modded win they still took a chaos gate at the start of uh Elys elysium so we're swapping to the acorn the tooth is gone they will not recover a single ounce of health for the rest of the run isn't that crazy that you would you would just have to say like, well, if the Chaos Gate appears, I have to take it. We got rid of the call. Was Flurry Cast not there? Hold on. It might not have been there. Yeah, it wasn't there. Get rid of call over strong drink. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Well, that's close. When did we get strong drink? Mid boss in uh, Asphodel, right? Did we get a fountain after? It's at 5% right now. Hyper Sprint. All right. Back on track. No hammer. No hammer. Interesting. Yeah, the hammer could fuck you, right? There's a couple of baddies. There's a couple of bad ones. There's there's a couple that would actually absolutely blow it. Um, I just wonder. There, there's not really a high roll for it either. There's not really like a high roll in this instance, right? There's no hammer. Well, like, well, if you got this one, then that would actually help the run. There's really nothing, right? Ferocious guard. Okay, so that's one. Yeah. I get. I guess they they must have determined it's not necessary, right? They buy the health. They don't buy Aphrodite. They take the Zeus here. I think this must be where double strike occurs. We only got two Megs left because we. Didn't we Meg in a weird spot? No, we Meg the Sneak. That's all it is, right? Yeah. Ooh, those hits. Down to 19. Again, normally... It's not a big deal. But every hit... Is brutal. 
Obviously, we know they win, but... Double strike. How big is double strike here? So the interesting thing is you really want Patty to skip combat, but Patty doesn't do anything. Look, there's two buffs because the death defiance one doesn't appear when you have no mirror. So you can get Hydrolite, which heals for zero, or you can get a little bit of attack. <laughs> that 64 heat jerk, right? Crazy stuff. Do you think we get Thanatos? I don't think we saw Thanatos yet, right? Oh, there we go. Uh, my zero heal, lasting consequences. He can't get healed. That's chamber 33 Than. So second to last chamber of Elysium. So you got... You got Patty into Than, and then if you get a fountain room for the last chamber, then that is magic. That is pure gold. When you see Thanatos, your timer doesn't stop? Yes, it does, honey. But I promise you it does. The same version of the game is on all consoles. Thought the patty still patty heal still works? No. I it is it is confusing what works and what doesn't when it comes to lasting consequences. Because some things work, some things do not. Look, quick recovery from Hermes works. Fountains do not work. Curse slash works. Hydrolite from Patty does not work. Guan Yu works. After party does not work. Stubborn Roots works. Nurse Soul does not work. Oh, she sent a Chamber 33 Than into the Discord? Holy shit. This is a spicy room. Like, they haven't taken any damage. Wow, Dio Call. I wonder, Angelic, if you're around, do you feel like you had to have it? Did she have to have the call to win? 304 on the timer. 304 is still like frustratingly close, I feel here. They took no damage in that crazy wackadoodle witch room right there. It's wild stuff. If you slow down the video and watch just how how she has to throw out the special and when, it's just it's so hard. I cannot play the game like this. I'm 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 I've tried with Zeus Shield. I just, it's just so difficult. Okay, big explosions. Two minutes on the timer. It's enough. I'm sure, I'm sure Angel knew it was enough, but holy fuck. Interesting that they kind of just uh, dash around there. Not dash around, but bull, bull rush around there. Acorn charge is gone. 94 health. Angelic, you don't think you needed the call necessarily because you had Heroic Jolted? Oh, you got to sell it anyway. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I assumed that you sold something else. More special damage and the armor. Fascinating. Wow, that safety. She had to play with that laser beam. A lot of patience there. It's interesting when you see those small glimpses of patience, because usually the entire time, it's just rush, 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 right? Why well, keep the acorn? The tooth's already been used. No Tony. Big Doomstone. Which isn't ideal. I wouldn't call it the worst, though. The best is the, the bomber. Oh, you got the big rat, though, too. And that's scary. And we don't have Meg! Isn't that crazy? So, that armor... The armor buff... That she bought from the well in between is big. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know why I'm getting worried here. Got poisoned and got chomped all at the same time. This is so hard. This is insane. Definitely not, right? Think about it. The theoretical amount of damage that the acorn can block is how much? The collar, there's no death defiances. Collar is just 50 health. Acorn could block as much as, like, 500 health, 500 damage, theoretically. Now, you might say, what about butterflies? Well, at 64 heat, you probably just say, if you get three butterflies, it runs over. Right? Acorn does not get used up. It refreshes whenever you get to a boss. Put 100 people in a room, <laughs> you'll get a 64 heat clear. Yeah, as long as one of them is angelic, right? <laughs> All right. Wow. Yeah, that, this felt like forever, kind of, in this short little tunnel. Oh, my God. 
Why does this feel so long? I thought it would be over by now. Must be out of buffs. Do we buy anything here? No. How do you even finish this run? How do you finish this run? Just knowing what it took to get here, chat. How do you finish this run? Once again, once again, I think they had the just high roll there, right? Right, Angelic? Because you might think like, I just take 25 health. But what's 25 more health when you're at 92 currently? What is that really going to do for you? When the average dad, hit, dad, dad hits for 40 to 100 damage, right? What is 25 health going to do for you? Now, there are some other enemies that might nickel and dime you for a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there, but... I think like uh the I think the idea there was that maybe you kind of have to get the call to win, right? It's all about the ads. It's all about the ads. That's the best ad pattern. Right? Those ads are the easiest to deal with by quite a bit. Is it just the 3 doomstone butterflies or these things? No, the sneak is a fourth pattern. Sneak is fucked. I think the best is this one then maybe doomstone after it. Oh my god, it's getting messy. The sneak is in. Two acorn charges down. Ah, three down, two left. Sneaky sneak. Is there multiple sneaks? The Meg did land. Two minutes, 48 seconds. Phase one done. At this point, you just know that you have everything you need to win. Once you clear phase one and the timer's not not horrible, you know you have what you need to win. You just you just gotta not mess it up. You just gotta not mess it up. Nice special control there. Still dealing damage even when blocking through the laser. That's so hard to do. That's so hard to do to time that and keep it out just the right amount of time and then pull it back at the last second. You gotta start thinking about the Cerberus summon around this time, too. Because right, right after, usually, a common pattern with Dad here is that... Oh! I saw the red circle and I got so scared! The pause buffer and everything. Oh, the knockback is wild there! Minute 32. It's tight still. Hades is, I would argue, slightly more predictable, but the pots get more crazy. In phase three. And the darkness means that you can't see everything that's happening, of course, either, right? But Hades will only throw his spear in phase three after doing the, the combo move. There's the last acorn. 68 health, no acorn left. The hit, Pretty much a hit from almost anything kills you right here immediately. Not even gonna chase down the pots, just do what you can over in the corner here to get through the healing. 45 seconds left. I'm, that's so frightening, being tucked in that corner. Oh my God. And then the skull hit. Wow. Wow. I did it. I thought it would never happen. I th I honestly thought. I honestly thought this would never happen cuz I didn't think you'd have someone out there with the known capability to be able to do it who was going to even bother to attempt it if that makes sense, right? Cuz only two people we were only aware of two people that were capable of doing this run. That was proven by completing a modded run. Only two people in the world, right, had proven that they were capable of beating the run. One of them was Angelic. This time.
No! <laughs>